What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about shiny Pokemon and all the strategies that you can use to get shiny Pokemon really fast inside of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So, shiny Pokemon, for anyone who isn't aware, are special Pokemon that are extremely rare to find and appear as a different color than their usual form. And it's become a big pastime for Pokemon fans over the years to hunt and find these shiny Pokemon and gather their collection. Now, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has a ton of new methods that are introduced for shiny hunting and lots of different ways that you can use to be able to get these Pokemon. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video, as I'm going to be showing you guys pretty much every method that you can do in order to get these Pokemon, as well as the best possible ways and the rates that you're going to have in order to find them. So the first thing that we should go over are the shiny Pokemon basics. And the first thing that we have here is just the shiny rate that's in the game by default. And that is one out of 4,096. So what this means is that if you just start up the game right now and you're playing a fresh new file and you're just going through the world and finding Pokemon, you have a one in 4,096 chance of finding a shiny Pokemon. Now shiny Pokemon inside of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will appear as a different color in the overworld. However, there's not going to be any type of indicator with like a sound to let you know that there's a shiny nearby. This was something that a lot of people really enjoyed inside of Pokemon Legends Arceus, where you could just be exploring or doing your own thing and you would hear like a sparkling shiny sound effect go off and that would let you know that there was a shiny nearby so you could start going and looking for it. But you don't have that inside of this game so you're just going to have to have a good eye and kind of notice a different colored Pokemon when you see one. Now one of the best tips that I would give for anybody who's going to be shiny hunting is to go into your options and turn off autosave. The reason is anytime you're going to a new area or a new town the autosave is constantly going to be kicking in and saving your game but the cool thing about this game is that if you do see a shiny Pokemon you can save right in front of the shiny Pokemon and then restart your game as many times as you want and the Pokemon will still be there and it'll still be shiny. But if you have autosave on and you're running by an area really quickly and let's say that at like a split second you see a shiny Pokemon just spawn but within that time you reach a new town all of a sudden the autosave is going to kick in and by that point you're not going to be able to load into your save anymore because the shiny Pokemon will just be gone. However if that happened on a manual save you could just reload your game and be able to find the shiny when it's going to appear. A great attack to have for a shiny Pokemon is Fall Swipe. This is an attack that will always get the Pokemon to 1 HP, so it's a great attack for catching Pokemon, and if you find a rare Pokemon, like a shiny, you can obviously just use that to get the Pokemon to 1 HP, so it's very easy to catch the Pokemon. You can actually get TMs for this by showing 30 Pokemon registered in your Pokedex to the biology teacher Jock, so it should be fairly easy to do this in the game, and then just go back to the school and go into the bio room and talk to him. Speaking of Jock, he's also able to give you one of the best items that you can get for shiny hunting, and that is the shiny charm. Now the shiny charm is definitely something that every shiny hunter is going to want to have. The way to get this though is a little bit difficult as you're going to have to complete the entire Pokedex. So there are 400 Pokemon inside of this game that you're going to have to go and find and register every single one into your Pokedex. But doing this and showing it to Jock, he will give you the shiny charm. And by having this item, you will now have a boosted chance of finding shiny Pokemon. So instead of the usual 1 in 4096 rate, your new rate will become 1 in 1365. So it's going to be much easier to find shinies. So now let's get into the methods of encountering shiny Pokemon. And the first one that we have here is just playing through the main game. As you're enjoying your adventure inside of the Paldea region, taking on gym leaders, conquering the Titans, and taking down the team star bosses, you might just come across some shiny Pokemon in the wild that you're going to notice. And the chances of finding a shiny Pokemon like this are pretty decent because you're going to be able to see every single Pokemon in the overworld. So if you do see a Pokemon that's a different color, you're going to be able to notice it pretty easily compared to like previous Pokemon games where you would have to run into the grass and encounter a shiny by going into each battle and seeing each Pokemon one by one. And I actually found a shiny Lechonk like this in under an hour from just playing the game when I was playing it early. I tweeted about it on my secret account, but yeah, it was just kind of crazy that you could find shinies like this. And I found other shinies while I was playing through the adventure as well. I found a shiny Tadbulb and then also a shiny Sneasel. Now, a new shiny hunting method that a lot of people like to use is the town method, where inside of this game, because it is an open world, towns are just going to seamlessly blend in with the world, but there's going to be like an invisible line that you can cross where you enter a town, and whenever you go into a town, it pretty much despawns every single nearby Pokemon in the area, so you can cross this invisible line back and forth by going into the town and back into the world to keep resetting spawns. So basically, you go into the world, check all the Pokemon that are nearby, see if you see any shinies. If there aren't, you go back into the town, 
town. It will kind of take away all the Pokemon that are nearby. Then you go back into the world. They're all going to respawn again. And you can keep doing this with like a big group of Pokemon that spawn. And you're bound to find a shiny. Mass Outbreaks from Pokemon Legends Arceus also return inside of these games, and you can also use them to find shiny Pokemon. And just like in that game, the more Pokemon that you defeat or catch are actually going to increase your odds of finding shiny Pokemon. And so the best way to go about this is to actually use the new auto battle feature, where your Pokemon can quickly just take out a whole bunch of Pokemon that are going to be in the Mass Outbreak. And the more Pokemon that you take down, the better your odds are going to become. And the cool thing is you don't even have to worry about the auto battle accidentally killing a shiny Pokemon because the game is programmed so that if the Pokemon notices that one of them is a shiny, it's just going to refuse to kill it. So you're going to know that it's a shiny Pokemon that way, but also your rates are just going to become much better. So if you're in a mass outbreak, if you take down 30 Pokemon, your rate is going to go into 1 in 2048 if you don't have the shiny charm, but then if you do have it, it'll go to 1 in 1024. And then inside of a mass outbreak, if you can take down 60 Pokemon, your rate will become 1 in 1,365 if you don't have the shiny charm, but then if you do have it, it will become 1 in 820. Now, auto battles themselves are actually a great way of finding shiny Pokemon too. With mass outbreaks, it's whatever Pokemon the game kind of decides. You don't really get to control like what Pokemon appears in a mass outbreak. However, with auto battles, you can basically create a sandwich to increase your encounter power of a certain type. And that way, if you go into a certain area, you can basically create your own kind of mini mass outbreak that will happen where you encounter a whole bunch of Pokemon of a certain type. And then you can basically just do the same thing where you take down 30 of them or 60 of them and increase your odds of finding a shiny. You've also got the traditional breeding method where you can hatch a bunch of eggs and hope that one of them hatches into a shiny, but a trick that some people might not know about this is that you can actually use something known as the Masuda method which will drastically increase your chances of finding a shiny Pokemon. Now the Masuda method is a trick for hatching shiny Pokemon where the two Pokemon that are the parents that are going to be producing the eggs are from two different countries. So for example, if I catch a Garchomp inside of my game and I have an American Garchomp, but then I decide to breed it with a ditto that was given to me by somebody from Japan, you're actually going to have a significantly higher chance of encountering a shiny Pokemon through the egg. And so the rate that you're going to have here for using the Masuda method is that it's going to be 1 in 682 if you don't have the shiny charm, but then if you do have the shiny charm, it's going to go down to 1 in 512. Terra Raid Battles are also a great way of encountering shiny Pokemon, and a really cool thing about this is that if you go into a Terra Raid Battle and you notice that the Pokemon is a shiny, you can actually leave the Terra Raid Battle and it's not going to go away, it'll still be there, you can even save in front of it, and then you can call up your friends and tell them like, yo I just found a shiny Pokemon inside of a Terra Raid Den, you can call them up, they can all join you, and then you can take it down together with your friends, and then all four of you get to add that shiny Pokemon to your team. And finally, the last method that we have here to encounter shiny Pokemon is probably the best method that's in the game. However, it's also the hardest one to pull off, and that's because this is pretty much going to be entirely inside of the post game. You're not really going to be able to do this early into the game. However, it's also going to require you to have a really rare item known as the Herba Mystica. Now, Herba Mysticas can only be found in 5 or 6 star Terra Raids, and those can be pretty difficult to take down, but if you do get a bunch of these, you can actually then use them to create a sandwich, and this sandwich will give you a level 3 encounter power of a certain type, and also a level 3 sparkling power to encounter more shiny Pokemon of that same type which is an extremely high boost of encountering a Pokemon of a certain type, but then also having that type get a shiny boost on top of it, and I've seen people find like 1-5 to five shiny Pokemon in an hour just doing this because you can pretty much get any type that you want and just go to an area where that Pokemon spawns and pretty much hunt whatever Pokemon that you want. So the only thing that's just really hard to do is getting those Herba Mysticas and also creating the sandwiches because you don't really know the recipes. However, for that, I've got a little cheat sheet here that I'm going to put up on screen for you guys where I'm going to be scrolling down here and this will give you pretty much the recipes that you're going to need with the Herba Mysticas to create the sandwiches for finding a shiny Pokemon of any type that you want. So feel free to screenshot this and save it for when you need it. But yeah, that is pretty much all there is to know about finding shiny Pokemon inside of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet and all the secrets that there are in terms of the methods of finding them. If this video helped you guys out, then definitely be sure to click that like button and also subscribe to the channel as well. I'm definitely going to be having some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet videos, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that. Go follow me on Twitter at actual arrow so you can be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo, so definitely be sure to join that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.